Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, guys? Fine. Fine. <laughs> Excellent. Glad to hear that. We're going to start with our class for today. Just let me check here. Okay, so good evening, everyone. We're going to start with today's class. So thank you so much for being here. And I would, uh, to start the class, I would just like to mention what uh, the people from Insafort told us, right? We received a message from uh, Claudia Lopez today in WhatsApp. I, I'm just gonna read it again. So we make sure that we are um, clear with this point. Right, it says like this. Uh, in WhatsApp, recibimos un mensaje todos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Espero lo hayan podido leer. Dice: Buen día, estimados alumnos. Les esperamos hoy sin falta. No olvidar que deben registrarse con su nombre completo según Dui y mantener su cámara encendida. Nuestro equipo técnico estará atento a brindarle soporte en caso lo requieran. Pueden escribir a este chat grupal o en chat privado a este número, que es el número que se les ha proporcionado ahí. Eh, y dice que por favor que esperen que estén por lo menos los 120 minutos de cada clase y para esperarlos acá esto nos lo enviaron porque no estamos encendiendo la cámara y no estamos poniendo nuestros nombres completos, así que les voy a pedir por favor, Yanni, Pablo, Caro eh, escriban su nombre completo, como lo tienen sus demás compañeros es importante que tengamos el nombre tal cual lo, lo tenemos en el DUI, porque así lo pide Insafor. ¿Ok? Entonces, por favor, pongámoslo ahí. Si no podemos hacerlo, en, en la camarita tenemos acá, cuando le damos o ponemos el puntero encima de nuestra cara, ahí en, en la plataforma, vemos que hay tres puntitos arriba, ¿verdad? Y dice ahí renombrar o cambiar nombre. Ahí démosle clic. Le damos clic ahí, por ejemplo, si yo le diera cambiar ahí, puedo cambiar el nombre aquí de Pablo, de Caro, yo lo puedo hacer, pero así no lo revisen de por, tienen que hacerlo ustedes. ¿Okay? Así que por favor, hagámoslo este día. A partir de este día siempre verifiquemos que lo tenemos eh, completo. Right? Now, we are going to start with our class today. And I would like to know if you have any questions for today? No questions? Uh -huh. No questions. Okay, so today we are going to work with everything that we have done in this class as of today and with the new topic, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a, a different practices here. So I need you to please pay attention to the activities that we are going to do, right? Now, I'm going to be showing some information with you right now. Tell me. We're going to start with this. Can you see my screen? No yet, right? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Can you see my screen? No? No, Miss. No, teacher. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. I'm going to show you right now some of the questions that we're going to uh, complete. Just give me a moment. Now, in this question, Miss Solo estoy mencionando, no estoy mencionando la cámara. Bueno, ahí queda. Recuérdense, Vladimir, Tatiana, Daisy, Luis, Eduardo, Elena, necesitan el, eh, la cámara encendida. Ahí ya no llamaron la atención, entonces hay que hacer lo que nos están solicitando. Right? Now, can you see where it says uh, have to, don't have to, has to, doesn't have to? Do you see that? Yes? No? Maybe? Can you see the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Now, for this, I need you to think quick, right? You have to look at the screen, think quick, and give me the answer, right? That's what we need to do. Give me the answer. We're going to choose between have to, don't have to, has to, and doesn't have to. So let's take a look at the answers here, please. And we're going to start with everyone. If you have the answer, say the answer out loud. Well, you have to put that on WhatsApp. Now let's continue there. Look at this. I'm gonna start right now, right? We have question number one, get ready. This Mary can go to the cinema tonight. She, what's the answer for this? Let us see. She has to stay home. Okay, let us see. Let's see here. Very well, thank you so much. Right, that is the correct answer. Very good, very good. Let's continue. Question number two. My parents can't go to Italy this year. They work this summer. Uh, letter B. Letter B? No, letter yes. A. A. Mm -hmm. A or B? Time is running. A. A. Letter. They don't have to. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Ah, they have to work this summer. Okay, let's okay. continue. Right? Question number three. My friends are clowns, so they learn to juggle. Juggle is like. Dun, 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 dun. That's juggle. We have to. They have to. Okay. Mm. Okay, they don't have to, right? Look at this one. Oh, this is just. Give me a moment. This is just part of the game, okay? Now, let's go to the next question, Jani. What do you think is the answer here? I'm gonna start spotting people. Caroline, watch her car today because it's raining. Um, has to. Has to. Uh, 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 has to. Has to. Doesn't have to. Okay. Because it's raining like today. Okay, like today. We continue. Emerson. Sorry, I can't play football tomorrow. I play hockey. Have to. Letter Have B. to. Letter B. Very good. Imelda, next one. Peter read a lot of books because he likes reading. Has to. Has to, because he likes reading. Very good. Eduardo, next. Oh, 
Give me a moment. We're gonna wait for this. Okay. Now we'll go here, Eduardo Franco. Question yes. seven. That woman to carry all the bags. Her husband can help her. Better A. Has to. Okay. <sighs> he doesn't have to because she has a husband. <laughs> now let's see. Luis, I oh don't know, Luis is working, Vladimir. You buy a wool jumper because it's very cold. Don't have to. Don't have to. It's very cold. So you have to buy a wool jumper. Carol, number nine. What is the meaning of the young? Carol, children run in the corridors at school. Uh, don't have to. Uh, doesn't. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't? But children is plural. So you're okay. right. Children. Don't have to. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yes. Okay. Jumper is what you use. I will show you a picture in a moment. It's. Uh, some clothing, right? So I'm gonna show you a picture. But we, once we finish, this is the last question. This is for Sara Digail. Sara Digail, be ready. Yes, ready. Okay. Okay, Sara, number 10. My mother, Go to the shopping center because she needs a new bag. And has to. Has to. Let's see. Very well. Very well. Now, we're going to stop here, right? We have other questions, but we're gonna stop right there. Now, I'm gonna show you right now. Give me a moment. information that we are going to use here, right? Now, first of all, a wool jumper. What is a wool jumper, right? A wool jumper is this. Let me show you a picture. This is a wool jumper, Franco. This is a sweater, right? So when it's cold, for example, let's say you go to Canada, or you go to another country where it's very cold, or you go to Argentina, for example, you need to use, you need to buy and wear a wool jumper. This is a jumper, okay? Now, we're going to go right now here. Before we continue, do you have questions about have to? Questions? teacher no okay so i have questions for you okay now tell me when do you use have to this word have to what is the function of have to when are you going to use it obligation for obligations perfect joanna Right, we're going to use it, the function of this, right? This is important, we need to know the function, right? So function, right? To describe, oh, well, let's say, to talk about obligations. Now, this obligation, does it come from you or is it external? Does it come from someone or somewhere else? 
What do you think? External. It's external. Very good, Sara. Right to talk about obligations that come from somewhere or someone else. Right. So we got here. Right. Very well. Now, I need you to please pay attention and I will be asking you questions. This is the function. This is the, the topic, have to, right? Now, for have to, yesterday in WhatsApp, I sent you the structure. So you can study the structure, but we're going to say it right now, right? So we can work together. And in this structure for have to, right? We're going to make here examples. Now, let's say here, let's use your number. Johnny has to wake up early every day, right? This is my first example. Now, in this example, what are the elements that I have? Johnny has to wake up early every day. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, right? Now here, the elements that I have that I need, I need to have, first of all, right, a subject. What is the subject here? Johnny, right? That is my subject. Now, after the subject, we are going to have, right? In this case, have to, right? In this case is has to, because we're talking about third person singular. So we're gonna put here have or has to, right? Now, what is next, right? What is next? After this, we're gonna have a verb, right? My verb is, Bear. yes, exactly. And then we're gonna have our complement, right, for our sentence. So pretty much what we're doing is this. We're gonna have here our subject, right? We're gonna have has to, right? We're going to have our verb. Right. And then we are going to have our complement. Do you understand how we are dividing this sentence right now? Is it clear? Or do you have questions? Do you have questions? No. No? Okay, can you tell me an example? Following the structure, what are things that you have to do tomorrow? What do you have to do tomorrow? For example, tomorrow I have to wake up uh, early because I have to teach a class at 9 a.m. I have classes, so I have to teach English at 9 a.m. What about you? What do you have to do tomorrow? What are your obligations for tomorrow? No obligations. Wow. Emerson. I have to work early in the, the projects. Okay. You have to? You have to? I have to. Repeat, repeat, sorry. I have to work. Oh, you have and to work I, early. I have to work on the project tomorrow. Oh my God, yeah. okay, wish you luck. Very good. Imelda, what do you have to do tomorrow? Uh, I have to work in age and at a... Uh, 11. Okay, you have to PM. work from 8 to 11 p.m. 
goodness, okay? What about you, Carol? What do you have to do tomorrow? I have uh, to take my daughter, daughter uh, to a scout at 2 p.m. Oh, nice. Very good. What about you, Pablo? What do you have to do tomorrow? I have to rest tomorrow because I am on vacation. <laughs> That's a good obligation. I wish I could have that yes. obligation tomorrow. <laughs> Very good. So we have there our obligations, right? We have this structure. This is for have to. Remember, this is a structure, right? This is, we're going to put it here, affirmative, affirmative structure, right? Affirmative structure. Now what's, what's gonna happen here, we're going to put also down here, our negative structure, right? Negative structure, and it's pretty much the same, okay? It's going to be the same. Now I'm gonna use here, right? Mm, let me see. I'm gonna put an example. My students, I'm gonna put right here. My students don't have to connect to the class tomorrow on Saturdays, on weekends, right? My students don't have to connect to the class on weekends. That's going to be our example, right? Now, I need you to tell me from this example, let's see. Manuel Alfredo, what is the subject in this sentence? My students don't have to connect to classes on weekends. What is the subject? Manuel? Uh, is R? Huh? R? R? No. I don't have, look at the sentence, please, Manuel. Look at the sentence. My students don't have to connect to class on weekends. That's the sentence. What is the subject in that sentence? Student, teacher. Wait, let's have Manuel to think. Let's have him thinking. He needs to think. Mm -hmm. Manuel? No? No. Look at the sentence. We need to know the sentence structure, okay? It's very important. If we, need, if we want to get a job, right, that's, that's something mandatory. Si ustedes quieren trabajar en inglés, right? ya sea de administrador, de lo que sea que vayan a trabajar, si no pueden escribir una oración correctamente, no lo van a contratar. Right? Así es la vida. Pueden hablar bien, pero si no pueden escribir, no lo van a contratar. So, let's start. Imelda. Imelda, you're going to help us. What is the subject? Student. Students, okay. In this case, we're going to choose the whole thing. And our subject will be my student, right? Subject here, right? My students, very good. What is the part that we're looking for? We're going to use don't have to, right? Don't, or what is the other option that we have in simple present besides don't? We have another one. For third person singular, what is it? 
don't and doesn't. Exactly. Very good. Don't and doesn't. Don't and doesn't have to. Right? Two options. We're going to have two options. Then our verb. What is the verb, Franco? The verb is uh, connect. Connect. That's right. That's the verb. So we're going to put it here, verb. The verb is connect. And the complement is the rest of the sentence, right? Complement. Now we got it here, right? And we're going to just put it and divide it together, right? Like we did before. So pretty much my students, it's going to be our subject, right? Don't have to. It's what we need for negative structure. Right, then we have our verb, right, connect, and then we have the rest, which is the complement, right? Now, we need to think also the following. Right, we're gonna make a chart right here that's going to be very, very simple, right? I need the subject pronouns, subject pronouns. What are the subject pronouns? Uh, Wendy, the subject pronouns. I, I, I uh huh, very good. I do. I, very good. You, what else? They. Okay. They. They, they and we. And we. And we, very good. These are four subject pronouns. Very good. I need the others. We he, need to have, uh huh. He, he, she, she, it. She and it. Very good. So we have these other subject pronouns. So we're going to divide them like in two groups, okay? For the first group, right, that we're going to have here for I, you, we, and they. For affirmatives, we're gonna use have to, right? And for negatives, we're going to use don't have to, right? For he, she, and it, right? Okay, here, we are going to use as well, has to for positives, and for negatives, we're going to use doesn't have to. Right? But why, Silvia, why are we doing this? Because that's the way we're supposed to divide these two, right? That's, that's very simple. We need to make sure, right, that we are dividing this, right? I'm gonna divide this, sorry. <clears throat> right, and it goes just like this, right? The same here. Right. We're going to make sure that we remember. You cannot say I has to. She have to. No. You need to follow this structure. Right? Is this part clear? Yes? Okay. Now we're gonna send this. Right. We make sure that we practice this every day, right? Now, I'm going to send you this, so don't worry. I'm going, to, I'm going to send you the picture to WhatsApp so you can have it. Now, we're going to practice. We're going to make also questions. This is the structure that we have for affirmatives, for negatives. Now, how do you think we're gonna make the question? We need to make a yes, no question right now, very quick. Right, very quick. Now, before we continue, let me call the attendance. Antes que continuemos. Ya son las ocho y media, no van a regañar. Right. Give me a moment. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Díaz. Present. 
Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Entrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Francisco Sánchez López. Francisco Sánchez. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla Gar García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. Jose Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present teacher. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carlos Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Manuel Alfredo, Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Digaí López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Very good. Did I miss someone? ¿Me hizo falta alguien? No. Okay, now we continue. Let's make questions. I need you to help me and make questions right now, right? What is the auxiliary that you think we need to use for questions? Look at the board. What is the auxiliary that we need to use to make a question? Do or does. Do or does, wonderful, Joanna. Very good. So we're gonna start with a yes, no question, right? Very simple, right? With a yes, no question, we're going to say, oh, do you, right, have to work on weekends, right? Do you have to work on weekends? Now, I want you to tell me, we're going to use right now to divide this sentence, right? We have the auxiliary. At the beginning, it can be do or does. It will depend on the subject, right? So we have do or does. Well, let me make this clear. Give me a moment. One second, let's see. Right, this is my question. Then I will have do or does, right? Then what do I have next? What is this? How do we call this? You, what is that? Is it a verb? Is it an adjective? Subject. It's the subject. subject, very well. It's the subject, so we're gonna have subject. Oh, my goodness, okay. Subject, good. So we have our subject. Then here, have to, right? We're always going to use have to. Why? Because even if we use does, that's not gonna change. So this is going to be have to all the time, right? Have to. Then we have the verb, right? And then the complement. And let's not forget the question mark, right? Our complement now has a question mark. Now, do you understand this one? I can ask you right now, do you have to? Do you have to wear a mask in your workplace, Bernardo? Yes, I do, teacher. Yes, I do. Beautiful answer. Because I'm asking the question with do, the best answer is yes, I do. Okay? Because if you say, yes, I have to, uh-uh, yes, I do. Right? Very good, Bernardo. Right? So that's how we make questions. Now we can say, does Bernardo have to use a mask at work? 
Yes, he does. Right? So it will depend on the subject if we use do or does. Right? Now, ese niño me asustó. Ahí es un niño y me pega el gran susto. <laughs> We're going to continue there <laughs> uh, with, with the WH words. Do you remember the WH words? What are some examples of WH words? When we want to make information questions. Now, these are just no questions. We say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Simple. But I want more information. What are the words that I use? I use where? exactly. Where, why? Where? Why? How? Which? W H questions. So when we make W H questions, right? Or we say here. Let me put it in black because I love black. Right? W H questions with have to, right? This is perfect, right? We can say here, let's use, Bernardo says that he has to wear a mask. I'm gonna put, why do you have to wear a mask at work? Right? This is my question. Why do you have to wear a mask at work? The president said that you don't have to wear it anymore. Right? You say, why do you have to? We're asking for reason. The only thing that we have the same elements, right? If you see auxiliary, subject, have to, the verb, the complement, the only new element that we have is the WH word, right? It will depend on what you want to ask for you to use that WH word. Is this part clear right now? Questions, do you have questions? Too much information? Email that questions? Pablo, Joana, Carol, Vladimir, Yanni, Franco, Sara, Oscar, Elena, Wendy, questions? No? No, no, no questions. Mm -hmm. No question. Okay, so we're gonna do something right now. We're gonna practice. I am going to send you right now, right? This information to your WhatsApp, right? Just give me a sec. Is it? Da, 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 da. Where is Zoom? I'm looking for Zoom. Oh, here it is. Now, you have the class in your WhatsApp already, right? So now what we're going to do is the following. We are going to work in pairs, okay? We're going to work in pairs. In pairs, we're going to start asking each other questions, only speaking. I want you to speak right now. You're going to work together. For example, here, right, let me show you. We're gonna make a grammar discussion, right? Now, for this discussion that we're going to have, we're going to have two students, a student A and a student B. Now, let's say I am a student A. Joanna is a student B, right? We have two students. I am with Joanna. We're going to work together. Now, I have these questions. I am going to ask Joanna, Joanna, what do you have to do after class? What do you have to do after class, Joanna? Hey, your microphone. 
I I have to prepare the diner. Okay, very good. Right? Simple answer. Good. Now, Joanna, you are a student B. Now you have to ask me a question. Any question? We, you have 10 questions. You can tell me. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, uh, why do people have to, wo to work? <laughs> That's a very philosophical question, Jen. I think people <laughs> have to go to work to get money and to get food to live, right? Very good. So that's my answer, right? So what we're going to do right now is that I am going to send you, right, to your WhatsApp, letter A and letter B. After that, I'm going to put you in a Zoom group, right, with another person. You are going to decide which student you want to be, student A or student B, it doesn't matter. You are going to be in the group and you're going to ask at least five questions because I need you to speak. Is that clear? Is it clear what you're going to do? No, not clear or yes, clear? Not clear. Wendy? Not clear. It's not clear. Not clear. Okay. Wendy, you are a student A. Okay. Look at my computer. You are a student A. Okay. okay. Look at this. You're a student A. I am a student B. Okay. Now we are in the group, only you and me, right? Or you and I, we are together. And I am going to ask you a question. Wendy, what do you have to do tomorrow morning? I have to work in the morning. Okay, very good. Where do you have to work, Wendy? Sorry? Where do you have to work? Oh. I work in Químicas Consolidadas. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Now, you are going to ask me a question, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you have to do next week? Next week, uh, next week, I have to... I have to go to San Salvador. I don't live in San Salvador. I have to go to San Salvador and pick up a turtle because they are, I'm going to adopt another pet. I'm going to pick up a turtle. That's what I'm going to do next week. Right? Thank you, Wendy. So that's what you're going to do. Simple conversation. Is that clear now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes? It's clear. Okay, perfect. Yes. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Now let me send you right now a student A to WhatsApp. Remember, I need you to speak. We're going to complete the exercises from the book, of course, but they are very easy. Okay, so student A. And no more. A student B. Okay. Did you get the questions? Yes or no? They are in WhatsApp right now. Did you get them? Yes, okay, very well then. We're going to make the groups. Remember that we are going to work in pairs, right? And just let me see here. We're going to have 10 minutes to practice. I will be in the groups, 
but in each of the groups, I'm going to be listening to you only. Okay, it's your job to practice. So let's go. Let, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go. Click on join. Click on your group. Connect, connect. Connecting each group, please. Let's go. Okay, Tatiana, Carol, Javier, Daisy, Sara, can you please connect to your groups? Daisy, Yvonne, Luis. Okay. Bello, sea vos, ¿cómo está? Ok. Soy. Entonces vos me tenés que preguntar a mí y yo te tengo que responder. Ah. Va. Mm. What do people have to do? Have to do to live, to be. 100 years old. Yeah, I think, I think. The people. Ah, okay. Pero no, no es este el, no es este el enlace del, del WhatsApp. Ahí está, como no. Ya sé. Sí, si lo, si lo abre, no tiene aparece. que leer más y ahí aparece. Uh -huh. mm, el enlace exclusivo, dice. No, y. Ah, ah la... sí, no, es, espérame. No, no, no es ese. Espérame. What are you looking for? Is... No solo estoy intentando agregarme a los chats porque no me cae la información a mí. Eh, bueno, pero aquí con esa que me acaba de enviar aquí si gusta y después hago yo eso. Vale, ok. Eh, puede ser yo, no sé, cualquiera, el B si gusta. El B y, y, y uh, yo H. Uh, Teacher is um, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, five example de las oraciones cada solo cinco ejemplos de oraciones. De cada no van a escribir, hacer. van a hablar. Ahorita no quiero que escriban nada, quiero que hablen. Ah, ok, 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 mm -hmm. listo. Ok, entonces inicio, Frank. Este, what do you do have do after run class? I have to I have to go to the church ahora me toca a mí ajá, dígame vamos what do you have to do after class Este, I, I has to eh, eat 
pusa. Dinner. Okay. Eh, entiendo que dice antes de la clase. ¿eh? No, después. Después de la clase. Ah, pues no, espera. Sería, I has to sleep. Okay. Va, sería la siguiente. What do people have to do have lot of free? Number five. Okay. What? What? Two people have to do to do hard lot of free. La pregunta no la entiendo. Dice gente. Ah, uh, to do, to do, to have lots of them. Uh, the people have to, to be friendly. Ah, me toca. How many people in your family have to wear less glasses? Poder tener mucho familia. Ah. 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 What do people have to do to have a lot of friends? No entiendo la pregunta. What question? Repeat the question, Vladimir. Uh, number five. What do people have to do to have a lot of, of friends? Okay. It, he's asking you, Sara, if you want to have more friends, what do you have to do to make more friends? For example, I have like, Three friends. <laughs> so ah, I want okay. to make more. So what do I have to do to make more friends? Now, Vladimir, mm -hmm. you need to say, what do you have to do? Repeat. What do you have to do? What do you have to do? Exactly. There you go. Right? It goes like fluent. What do you have to do? Right? So now. Bye. Okay. Um, they has to... They have to um, must uh, see. We are friendly. I am friendly. Is your answer? ¿Cómo deben ser? ¿Cómo qué deben hacer las personas para tener muchos amigos? Yes. Okay. Este, they have to um, sincere. Okay. Sincere. They have to be sincere. 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 Estoy sola, teacher. <laughs> ¿Y por qué no me dice? Why didn't you tell me? Let me ah, ahorita. Okay. Ah. Es que ya no, ya no habló. Mm -hmm. Ok. Let me send you to another group, ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. I want to move you to group five.
Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me? Luis no puede participar ahorita porque dice que está en el trabajo todavía. Está solo como oyente. Ok. Bueno, lo vamos a enviar entonces a otro grupo. Give me a moment. Ok. To be happy. Uh, uh, the people I I think the people have to do happy because it is natural human human. Okay. Seven. Seven. What do people have to do? to live to the be 100 years old. I think the people have to live to be 100 years old because a long time in the war. <laughs> Eight, eight, eight. Well, no, seven. Seven. Um, at what age the people have to re return? Do people really have to return? Because I don't know much. What the age the people have to return? I termina people really really have to return la voy a abrir ese porque no veo uh -huh. B8 Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. At one, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, I see. Sería. The people have to eat vegetales nu nunca aprendí a decir yo lo escucho se, yo escucho como quiere decir vegetables ah. sí. Right. sí vegetables eh. o oh. exercise sano cómo se dice it's healthy Healthy. Healthy. Yeah. The people how to have excess vegetable or exercise. <laughs> yes. Ya nos vamos. <laughs>
Okay. So let's practice a little bit of what you just did. We're gonna take one or two minutes to practice. I would like to start with, uh, let's see here, Carol, right? And Carol and Eduardo, okay? Carol, you can ask Eduardo. Eduardo, you ask Carol one question each and then we'll move to another people, okay? Let's start. The the list. Yes. The list. Okay. Eduardo, uh, what do you have to do after class? Uh, I have to sleep. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yes. Uh, Give me one moment. Uh, I need the sentence in, in my WhatsApp. Uh. No, I need you to speak. I don't need you to read. I need you to speak. Okay. Uh, um, how do you... Uh, no. Why, why do you, how do you have to walk? I have, I have, I have to walk to my work, but uh, because it's necessary, I uh, need survival. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Eduardo. Now let's go with Imelda and Imelda and Manuel. Manuel, are you ready? Yes. Okay. What do you have to do tomorrow afternoon? Manuel, what do you have repeat, to do? Repeat, please. Uh, what do you have to do tomorrow afternoon? Uh, I uh, go to the park. I have to go to the park. I have to, to uh, go to the park. Okay, perfect. Ask a question to Imelda, please, Manuel. Okay, miss. <clears throat> What do people have to, sorry, what do people have to do like to be 100 year old? Uh, serían the, the people has to uh, eat uh, baseball or exercise. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Right, Imelda, thank you, Manuel. I would like to listen to Carla Eugenia and Vladimir. Okay, and uh, what what do people have to do like to be? And uh, repeat. What do what do people have to do 
to do to life to be 100 year old. Okay. What do people have to do to live? They have, they ha they have to eat uh, health, uh, fruit, vegetable, and to uh, sleep eight hours per day. Exactly. Very good. Vladimir, ask Eugenia, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what something uh, you have to do make your English better? Is English better? What are you have? Um, have to a student mash and practice okay. and videos and music. And practice the talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I have to study. Repeat. Uh, I have to study. I have to study. I have to study. I have to study. Very good. Excellent. Now, do you guys have questions about this activity? Do you have questions about have to? No? Easy, right? Easy peasy. We're going to do right now some of the exercises that we have from the book. Right? Now, remember, this is important. In the book, you have this, right? Please complete these exercises. These are for listening, okay? So you just have to click and they will open. In the class, I cannot show you this, right? Because they don't let us. But you just click and you complete the activities. These are for listening, right? Every time that you see this, this is listening. Listening is very, very important, okay? Now, we continue there. We'll go, we compared this exercise yesterday. We're gonna go right now with this conversation. Now, with the conversation, I will need some other people to help me. I will need Jani, okay, Jani, and I will also need Emerson. Listen, listen, to me. After that, Jani and Emerson will practice and they will choose other people, right? Now, let's start. Right. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay. But there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift. But ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Right? Easy conversation. Johnny, you are Aaron. Emerson, you are Sam. Okay, okay. Um, the new matter just arrived in the morning. Tell us that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and uh, Eva, Ivan had to store them in the warehouse. Okay. But there are many boxes. Can, can they use the lift? They had to use the lift, but as in the tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use use it. Then I'm going to tell the Max and Ivan what they have to do. Very good. Very good. Excellent pronunciation, okay? We just need to check here. Material, material, material. Repeat, Jani, material. Material. Material, very good. Now, I'm gonna give you 
three tips, no, two tips right now. And I will tell you these tips in Spanish so you can get them quickly, okay? Voy a decir esos tips en español, quickly, when in Spanglish. Pronunciación, buenísima. Pero ¿qué le hace falta? José y Sara ya saben, les hace falta entonación, chicos. El inglés no es como el español, siempre lo voy a decir. Right? Yo en español hablo así bien, así, ah, fíjate, súper salvadoreño, right? Si yo leo en inglés, the new material just arrived in the morning, tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? That's a intonation, that's a Spanish intonation, okay? Esa entonación es en español. En inglés no hablamos así y quiero que ustedes empiecen a practicar desde hoy su entonación. Va a decir, ay, teacher, pero qué exagerada. De eso se trata. Somos beginners, ¿ok? Todavía estamos en módulo 4. Entonces tenemos que exagerar. ¿okay? Si usted tiene un profesor que le habla así, where does he have to serve the box? O oh, profesora, ok, va a tenerme, no le está hablando bien. ¿Ok? Tiene que hablar inglés de la forma entonada como lo hacemos en inglés. ¿Cómo lo hacemos en inglés? Vamos con un como flow, así como música. ¿Ok? Now, I need to say, the new material just arrived in the morning. ¿Ven la diferencia? Do you see the difference? Pronunciation, very good, just one word, material. But then, listen to this. Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does he have to store the boxes? That sounds like a question. Eso suena como pregunta. Okay. Nuestra meta que es aprender a hablar inglés y queremos que nos entiendan también. Entonces, esto no es de acento, esto es de pronunciación e intonación. Acento vamos a tener todos. El que le diga que no tiene acento está mintiendo, todos tenemos acento. Right? So, here intonation. Right? Now, I need two more people quickly to help me out. That would be Pablo Adalberto. You're going to be Sam. Okay, Pablo Adalberto, you're going to be Sam. Jose Alexander, you're going to be Aaron. Okay. Go. The new, yeah, okay. the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Well, that's in, he has to store the boxes. He and the band have to store them in the warehouse. Okay. But there are many boxes. Uh, can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it then. I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Very good. Thank you so much. Jose, thank you, Pablo. Now, remember, this is a work in progress, right? Ese es un trabajo que vamos a ir haciendo poco a poco. No lo vamos a aprender, ah, ya mañana vamos a hablar perfecto, no. We're going to practice, 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 practice. So, now, we continue. Do you have questions about this conversation? Do you understand the conversation? Yes? Yes? Okay, I see your faces. I think that's a yes. Right, remember to answer, yes, yes, yes. No, teacher, I don't understand, right? So very good. Now let's continue. We have two simple questions, right? Two simple questions. Imelda, you read number one in exercise three, number one. And Bernardo, you read number three, right? Tatiana, you read number two. Joanna, you read number four. Let's go. Matt and Ivan have to, has to store boxes. Okay. Boxes. Aaron doesn't have to, has to help store the boxes. Okay. Sam doesn't have to, the, doesn't have to help. Okay. The secretary has to say that, that they can use the lift. 
they can use the lift. Okay, very good. So what's the answer, Joanna, for these two? You just say the answer, right? It has to. The secretary has to say that they can use the lift very well. Now, what is the answer for number three, Bernardo? Doesn't have to or doesn't has to? Doesn't has to. Uh, this one? Doesn't, doesn't has to help. Doesn't has to help, okay? Now, do you agree that with is. this answer? What happens, Bernardo, when you use does? What happens to the verb? Oh, sorry, it doesn't have because the auxiliary does. Exactly, beautiful, thank you. Doesn't have to, very well, thank you. Tatiana, what's the answer for number two? Aaron doesn't have to help store the box. Doesn't have to help store the box. Sorry, this, this is not supposed to be here. This We're gonna delete this, guys. This question mark, uh uh, big no no. Okay, this is not good. We don't put the question mark there. We should put a period, right? We're gonna put a period, period, right? Not a question mark. Thank you, Tatiana. In number one, what's the answer for number one? Me, teacher. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hola, hola. Hello. Hello. What's the answer for number one? Matt and Ivan, how to? Has to store bags. Okay, what's the answer? Have to or has to? You have need to select one. Have to or has to? Has to. Okay. So is this correct? No, teacher. No. Is have, have, to. Uh, have, have to. to. It is have to. In this case, Max and Ivan. And Ivan. They. Right. Remember these two. Right. These two. They will be. They. They. So we need to use have. Right. Max and Ivan. Teacher. Yes. How to le dije you. How to. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much, Imelda. Now we are going to continue. Do you have questions about this exercise? Questions? Copy on your notebooks, on your books, workbooks, whatever you have there. Right? Now we're going to continue. We have these examples. Yesterday, Johnny helped us to read these. I think Johnny and Bernardo. So we're going to continue here. It says that we need to use, right? We're going to use have to using this information. So we have number one. This is the company buy new material. So what is the sentence that we need to make here? Right? We need to make a sentence here using this and this. Right? What do you think the sentence is going to be now? We're gonna put it here. The company, right? Hmm, the company, is it third person singular? Yes, right? The company has to buy new material. Right? Easy. I have my first sentence. Right? Now, with this, I'm using this information and I'm using this and I'm using this. Right? Now, you're going to complete the others. Right now, you have two, three, four, five, four sentences. 
that you're going to complete individually. Let's do that individually. Let's start now, please. Do you understand what you're doing right now? Yes. yes? Okay. <laughs> Tell me if you have questions, please. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, okay. Shall we check the answers? Okay, we're gonna start here with Carol. Carol, what do you have for number two? Your partner has two pile up containers. Your partners have to has 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 to has to okay has 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 to pile up containers. Now, one question, Carol. When we say has to, right? Now, what about partners? Your partners. 
Is it plural or singular, Carol? Your partner is plural. It's plural. Now, can I use third person has with plural? Uh, have, 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 have. have to, no has to. It's have to, not have to, exactly. Have to, right? Your partners have to pile up containers. Thank you, Carol. Next person is going to be uh, Joanna. Okay, teacher. Uh, is the agents don't have to send the letter. The agents don't have to send the letter. Okay. Now we're going to check here. Very good, Joanna. Thank you. Right. Now just check pronunciation. Agents. 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 Sign. 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 Very good. Thank you, Joanna. Now Thank next you, one. You're welcome. Franco. Mr. Bonilla has to design new models. Has to design new models. Very good. Thank you so much. And the last one is going to be for Debbie. The group don't have to work until late. Now, question. The group. Is this one group or many groups? It's, it's singular. It's singular. Exactly. It's singular. So what do I have to do? When it has, has to. Has to. Exactly. So if I say has to, what is the correct form? Because it's negative. And that uh, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't has to. Doesn't has to. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. Yes? No. No? What happens? The auxiliary. Ah? Um, el, the auxiliary. The auxiliary. What happens? Auxiliary. auxiliary. The, That's the, how. The, is how oh, how. yes that's correct with the auxiliary right the verb goes back to the original form right the group doesn't have to work until late write it down write it right write it down we have the our example okay doesn't have to work until late questions about this exercise Vocabulary, structure, grammar, tell me, pronunciation. What are your questions? Teacher, um, what is the pronunciation of uh, the number five? Uh, until. Oh. Yeah, correct. That's correct. I scored it. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Until. Until. Okay. What's another question? Thank you, Anna. Vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar. No questions. Shall I continue? Yeah. Let's continue. Okay. Now we continue here, right? We are going to make a small conversation. Now we're going to complete this activity. Tatiana, can you please read the instruction? Craft a conversation with a partner. Imagine one of your is new there. So you have to give instruction 
about how something had to be done. As wish, Ralph. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, what are we going to do? Like Tatiana said, we have to create a conversation, right? Now, our conversation, they started our conversation here, right? So the only thing that we have to do right now is to put more information, right? So we say, hello, I can say, hello, Johnny, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good, I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to, right? Okay, where do I have to? Right. In the, and then you have to, right? So what we're doing here is to create a conversation when we talk about the obligations. Now, let's think about our bosses, our supervisors. Do you have supervisors or are you a supervisor? I have my supervisor and he tells me, Sylvia, tomorrow you have to tell the students to turn on their cameras. You have to complete the class. You have to connect at A. Okay, so I have my obligations. And that person, my supervisor, is telling me my obligations, right? So what we can do is, for example, if I'm working with Alexander, Alexander can be the supervisor, right? And I can be the employee. I can be the uh, assistant. And he's going to tell me what to do, right? The obligations I have to do the next week, the next day, the next weekend, etc. right? Do you understand what you're going to do with the conversation? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, the dad says yes, or say yes. What about the others? Do you understand the activity? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. I need you to tell me. Necesito que me digan si entienden o no, porque yo no puedo adivinar. Ahí se le falla. Right? Necesito que me digan si entendí, no, no entendí. Vamos, okay? So, do you understand the activity? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, what about the others? Franco, yes, Kenya, Yanni, Vladimir, Lisbeth. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Tatiana, Bernardo, yes. do you understand? Yes, miss. Okay, yes, now, I'm going to put you in groups. There are some people that I don't know if I, they are here or not. So we, what we're going to do is the following. We are going to make groups of three, right? I'm gonna make groups of three just to make sure. Uh, Daisy no está trabajando, la vamos a poner de oyente. Eduardo and Jani, you were working together, right? Thank you, teacher. teacher. Okay. Emerson, Jose, and Carla, you're working together? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Uh, Imelda and Jose, yes? Okay, we're gonna put in your group, Imelda and Jose, we're gonna put Daisy, okay? Just to listen. Joanna, Sara, and Vladimir, we're gonna put Luis, Tatiana, and Elena. Elena, are you working today? If not, we're gonna put Tatiana y Juan. Porque no me contesta. Entonces, Tatiana, la vamos a mover otro equipo. Y Carol, Carol is acá. Yes, Carol is there. Yes. We're gonna put you with group number three. Okay, now we're gonna go right now, right? We're gonna go right now. And remember some of your classmates, they are just listening, okay? So let's go. We're gonna make our examples right now, right? <laughs> Pablo, Pablo, Pablo. Let's go, let's get to work. Vladimir, full name, Vladimir. No puso su nombre completo, póngalo completo.
Joanna, choose your group. Elena, Daisy, select your group so you can go back. del manual. Vamos a completar los usos del HEP2 según necesitemos en la conversación. Okay. Yeah, no yo no, no alcanzo a leer. Es que lo tengo en PDF. No, no lo he descargado. Estoy desde la, desde la plataforma. Ah, Ajá, por eso. Pero espera, no voy a ver qué puedo hacer. No desesperéis. Mira, por no. abrí Word. No lo tengo instalado. En bloque de notas. Eso vamos a hacer ahorita. El cien, ahí está. El cien sí se logra ver un poquito mejor. ¿eh? Sí. Se ve mejor. Va, va. Sí. En blog de Noctes sí creo que no lo logran ver, ¿no? No, pero este, como usted lo va a estar haciendo, veamos primero armarla y después este, ver cómo nos quedó. Okay, primero, hello, y de ahí el nombre de quien vaya a hablar. Welcome. I have you. Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to organize your. Okay. Hello, Kalai. Hello, Carla. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Hello, Carla. Okay. The clean, clean. No, pero, pero no lo complemento. No, no, la última línea lo puede hacer así, mira, este, por ejemplo, sí. la, la B que dice, ok, where do you have, where do I have to, to do that, por ejemplo, eh, in the office, then you have to clean it, algo así, podríamos complementar esa parte. Repeat, Johnny. Ok, eh, la sugerencia que da eh, Franco es que se complemente donde dice literal B, ok. Where do you, I have to that in the office? Do, do that. To do that. Do that. Ah, to do Ajá. that. Ajá. Como, como, quien dice, do, como quien dice dónde tengo que hacer eso. Mm -hmm. Entonces mm -hmm. eh, la respuesta es in the office. Eh, luego tú tienes que eh, limpiar, por ejemplo, cleaner. Hello, Chani, welcome. 
Hi, uh, how are you, Carol? Good. I have heard the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to clean up. Okay. Where do I have to do that? In, in the office, uh, in the office, you have to clean up. Then you have to. Ahí sería de, de volver a contestar. No, ahí, sí, ahí sería, ahí, sería otra, ahí sería otra actividad, porque como entiende que se está dando una lista de actividades que tiene que hacer, entonces la primera que le dijo fue la de la limpieza. Entonces, uh -huh. le, luego, ¿dónde tenía que hacer eso? Le dijo que la oficina. Y luego, que tiene que hacer otra cosa? Ahí quizás habría que complementarlo con una cosa, una actividad. No. Eh, fierce, fierce activity. Solo la primera, nada más. Ah, ya la última no. Okay. Solo la primera es como que donde nada no, más. No. Vaya, cambiemos. Vaya. Eh, Eduardo. You A and Johnny B. Y después cambiamos. Hello, Johnny. Welcome. Um... Hi, uh, Franco. How are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to uh, clean up. Okay. Where do you have to do that? In the office. Then you have to order the book. Oh, oh. Cierre diario sería. Usted dice como el Close. cierre estable. Close. Cierre. Close. Daily. 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 Yeah. Daily close. Uh -huh. Daily close. Así se dice cierre contable, teacher. Cierre de diario. Yo, yo decía cierre diario. Cierre diario se refiere, pero sí se refiere a eso, a la conta. Uh -huh. I think there is a special term for that. Right. There is something specific that you need to say. It's you need to do the, the final balance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Balance. Let me put it here on your... Okay. In the, in the, I'm gonna put it in the chat. For example, oh. then... I have to do the balance sheet. Like that's when you report all your assets, everything that has to do with money during the day or during the week, or during the mm -hmm. month. No sé de contabilidad, no sé cada cuánto lo hace. So it's, you have to do the balance sheet. Porque yo hablaba de cierre de caja diario. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Eso es. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Okay. Oh, tengo que decir que sí. Let's just put it here. Who's not in the class? Let me see here. Uh, Pablo, what was Pablo before?
That's just the meaning, okay? So don't pay attention. The balance sheet. Yeah, no, you can must connect. Thank you. You're welcome. Deme más órdenes y meta. Sí, el auxiliar que debe de ser y eh, ya no es, ya no se convierte en has, sino que se queda en have. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Cuando es negativo pasa siempre eso, o sea, uh -huh. va a poner siempre dasen, pero vas a mantener el have. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, hoy sí ya me quedó claro. Sí. <risa> Sí, es que a veces como, como algo, algo se nos queda. Sí, es que ahí, ahí me fui, me fui porque grupo decía un grupo de personas, pero no. Ajá, uh -huh. ajá. Y, y eso, eso de, de, de lo del auxiliar eh, es, es ahí uh -huh. que, que no cambia cuando son negativos. Sí, cuando es negativo es que, es que uh -huh. se va al verbo base. Uh -huh. Es verdad. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Creo que ya estamos listos. Yeah, you finished the yeah. conversation? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect, perfect. We just can I listen to it, please? Okay. Tatiana. Begin. <laughs> Uh, hello, Wendy. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Good. I have here the list of activities. You have to do birds. You have to. Uh, you have to. I'm saying already. Me puse nervioso. You have to. Do uh, check the emails. Second, you have a uh, review the documents. Then you um, uh, uh, to review. Oh. I know. Then file, file, the file the documents. Document. File documents. <laughs> And finally, uh, call the client. Okay, where do I have to do my activities? In the office, then you have to a uh, meeting with my co-worker. With you? You. With your Co-worker. Okay. Finish teacher. <laughs> okay, that's good. You, you, you don't have to be oh, like this. No, relax when you're speaking, right? So don't worry. This is not la, la escuelita, right? I, ah, que la van a regañar, no. So don't worry, so relax. <laughs> now, Manuel, are you... Me da pánico escénico, Miss. Ah? Me da pánico escénico. <laughs> pasa, pasa. Don't worry, don't worry. Manuel, are you in the conference? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. yes. Very good. So I will listen to you guys. Um... Right now, when we're back, we only have 10 minutes, so you're going to be first, okay? You're going to be group number one. See ya. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I would like to start with one group. Right now with their conversation, right? Volunteers that we have today are Tatiana's group, but she's not here. After Tatiana's group, we're gonna have Janice's group, okay? 
we only have nine minutes, so we're gonna take advantage of that. Tatiana, hurry up. <laughs> okay, we have Tatiana, Wendy, and Manuel. Let's start. Listen, please. Okay. Okay, Miss. Hello, Manuel. Manuel, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to do check the emails in the morning. Second, you have to review the documents and then file the documents. And finally, type a report. Okay. Where, uh, where do I have to my activities? In the office. Then you have to meet in with your workers. Okay. Me. Okay, thank you so much, Tatiana, Manuel. Very good. Thank you. Now we go with Janice group. Okay, teacher is um, mm -hmm. um Carol. Carol. Franco. Eh, okay. Franco. Carol. Sí, micrófono. Eh, sorry. Okay. Hello, hello, Franco, welcome. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? Good, I have a shared release of activities you have to do. First, you have to clean, uh, you have clean. to clean. Okay, where where do I how to clean? In the office, then you have to clean, please. Okay. Okay. Hay que, hay que cambiar ahora papeles, okay. I don't know. <laughs> what else do you have? No, Remember, pregunto. that was just the beginning of the conversation. You needed to add more information. It's all, no, no, no more information. <laughs> Only. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's listen to Alexander's group. Thank you, Yanni. Thank you, Carol and Eduardo. Excellent. Hello, Alex. Welcome to INC. Hi, how are you, Imelda? Good. I had heard the list of activities you had to do. First, you had to make photocopies and read a report every weekend. Okay, where do I have to give the reports? In the accounting department, then you have to do the balance balance sheet. Okay, thanks. Okay, perfect. Now, instead of saying give the balance report, you need to say hand in. Hand in. Hand, like hand, hand in. Okay, where do we have to hand in the balance report, right? Like hand in is like to give a document to someone else, All right? Very good. Now, Sarah, we have time for your group. We have two minutes. Who is in Sarah's group? Nobody? Only Sarah. Hello, yes. Vladimir, welcome. Hi, how are you, Sarah? Good. Here is the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to get get up early 
Second, it eat breakfast. Third, brush your teeth. And four, comb your hair. It's okay. Where do you have to the activities? In the house. So, so you have to do it every day before going to work. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Thank so you for remembering. <laughs> So bossy, very good. Excellent, Sarah. Excellent, Vladimir. Very good job. Thank you, Joanna, for sharing the screen. Now, we have uh, finished right with today's class. And I just would, would like to call the attendance here before we continue. I have Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present, teacher. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present, teacher. Elena Guadalupe Andrade. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro. Me, teacher. Jose Alexander. Present. Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Carla Hernández Otelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante. Present. Luis Javier. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández. Present. Oscar Noé Magaña. Sara Digail. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón. Present miss. Good Wendy night. Daniele. Good night. Yanira del Present. Carmen. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Abrego. Present. Excellent. So today is the is day number three. I have to stay with Franco. Franco, if you have questions, you can stay with me today. If you don't have questions, you can leave this spot open for someone else. Right? So just tell me. Now, just to make sure here, antes que se vayan, just give me a moment. We still have one minute. Aún tengo un minuto con ustedes. Right? Today is day number three. Right? Es día número tres. Y las personas que ya llevan por lo menos dos actividades son Carlos Vladimir, Eduardo Franco, Elena Guadalupe, Imelda Xiomara, Joana Lisbeth, Carla Eugenia, and that's, let me see, Carla Eugenia, Sara Abigail, Wendy Marleni, and Janira del Carmen. Right? Los demás, por favor, vayan realizando sus actividades para que el martes por la noche no les agarre la tarde con, con las actividades que tienen que entregar cada semana. Okay, so let's get to work. I see you guys on Monday. Have a beautiful rest of the weekend. Right in, enjoy with your families. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. bye, Melda. Bye, Joanna. I think they, they just got stuck in there. Okay, Eduardo. What's your question for today? Do you have questions? Yeah, only one. Yes. In the in the book in the book, uh, page number uh, twelve. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there are two windows in the app, the, uh, affirmative, negative. Yes. Okay. In negative, uh, there are sentences uh, in singular. He, uh, for example, the last. Oh, these, he, these two, they are incorrect. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is incorrect. Uh -huh. Okay, see, so, yes. This one, uh-uh. Uh-huh. Mistake. 
Mm -hmm. Now, let me thank you for showing okay. that up. We're going to send this to the other students, okay? Gracias okay. por decirle porque no me había fijado. No se ve. No vamos a decir de todos. Give me one. Okay. Chicos, let me see. Chicas, esta parte está mal. Marco identificó que las oraciones marcadas deben decir dosen Perfecto. Thank you, Franco. Okay. Now, do you have other questions, Franco? No. Yeah, that was a mistake. Si usted se fija en el libro, hay varios errorcitos así como de, de, uh -huh. de dedo. Sí, sí. Todos los libros nos han salido así. Sí, yo, la, yo las he visto también en otras, en anteriores. Sí, uh -huh. ya lo hicimos, lo, bueno, no los hice yo. Los hicieron aquí en El Salvador y quizás los hicieron al, 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 al grupo a la carrera. No, 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 no le hicieron doble edición a la edición de la edición. Uh -huh. Entonces se han ido esos errores. Pero gracias. Siempre que uh -huh. vean un error así, usted diga, mire, y esto está bien, está mal, y lo vamos a ir bien. ¿Ok? Ok. Así bien. como el, el cine de interrogación que estaba de más. Ajá, correcto. Perfecto. Muy bien. Sí, gracias, Franco. Cualquier gracias. pregunta, y gracias por estar atento a la clase, por preguntar, por no la clase, y ahorita nos pregunta. Ok, gracias a usted. Gracias. Nos vemos. Good night. Bye bye. Buenas noches. Good night. Good night.